Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a lack a jack a smackin'? It's Wolfman for video, and today we're gonna be unboxing the first couple of parts I have for my PC, my gaming PC. So, the first thing we have here is an AMD Athlon multi core processor, and this is basically the CPU for your computer. And what the CPU is, is just basically is a computer. Now, this is a uh, 760k which means it's able to overclock because it has the key at the end and here's the processor right here this is what basically kind of runs your computer and you see how small it is and this is the cooler that it comes with the heat sink which you know stops it prevents it from overheating too much and you know if you overclock it then it's gonna kind of help with the overheating and stuff like that but I have another cooler for that because aftermarket cools are much better now right here we have a Corsair 8 gigabyte RAM and what this is is basically I think RAM is basically used for multitasking and stuff like that now 8 gigabytes is good for gaming it's decent for gaming you know I've been told that you don't really need more than 8 gigabytes but I'm probably gonna get an upgrade to 16 gigabytes soon and look at this thing this thing looks so beast. I mean, it's black. It's got the vengeance in the middle. This thing looks like something I would see at, a, at, some, at some freaking convention or something. Because this thing is a sweet looking product. Let's put that to the side right there. Next thing we have is the CPU cooler. Now, apparently, this works with the, the motherboard I was going to get. And which is AMD FM2 and I didn't even look at that so I would have bought the wrong thing but luckily it works with my motherboard in my socket so we're just gonna open this up and look at this box I feel like I can't open boxes properly sometimes but all these boxes have all these weird packaging I sometimes have to, I just gotta break the box I mean I already broke the, the CPU box and you know that's trash right there so we got the fan right here this fan is freaking huge all just as cool that one little CPU we got all this stuff man I haven't built a computer before so I don't know what I'm doing but hopefully these instructions are easier unlike the, the instructions I got from my my new chair those instructions were terrible it took me like two to three hours to make that thing to build it let's put everything back inside it's not open anything too much until I have every single part from my PC because I don't wanna you know interfere with anything I don't wanna break anything before I even get started to build it and look at this I can't even I can't even put this back together look at that I completely destroy boxes so up next we have the Corsair CX600M which stands for modular and this is a CX series power supply so basically it's also called your PCU or actually your PSU you can see right there all the cables and all the the, the wires and the you know whatchamacallit you like to call it but this is basically what runs your computer because it's the power supply and with 600 watts with all the stuff I have in this computer it should be plenty enough to power the, the computer so this thing is obviously gonna be kinda big we got everything right here it's modular which means it's not connected to the power supply which means you can use whatever cables you want but there's still gonna be cables that you're gonna have to use but modular power supplies will help better with cable management in your PC so let's open this up let's get this wrapping out of there oh they got some tough wrapping on this thing this this thing smells pretty good too let's open this up get this out of the way and look at this oh look at the finger sword smudge right there look at that but yeah basically your power supply like any computer has and you know sometimes even game consoles have these so let's put this back in the box keep the unwrapping there the instruction manual 
everything. And up next we have a TP Link Wireless Dual Band PCI Express Adapter. So I think I needed one of these anyways because how am I going to connect with the internet if I don't have a wireless adapter? Because I'm not using an ethernet cable since my router is downstairs and my computer is upstairs. So it just made sense to get these and I want maximum internet connection, maximum strength. So I was like, you know, let me just buy a good one of these. So I just bought a dual band, which only works with dual band routers. But even if I don't have a dual band router, I'm still getting pretty good signal strength, great signal strength. So this only cost me about $42 right here. So I think it's going to be worth every penny because I'm going to be playing gaming. Oh, that doesn't even make any sense. Not playing gaming, but I'm going to be playing games, multiplayer, you know. Eventually, I'll probably get to playing Titanfall on my PC, some other games, maybe like Battlefield. And look at this. It comes with a disc. I didn't even know that. And instruction manual. And look at that. I didn't even know you had to put those things on the back of it. Wow, the box. The box makes it look like it's so easy to put. And now everything's in pieces. Look at this. So let's just put this back. Nothing else to really look at. And the last thing I have today is a Logitech wireless mouse and keyboard. So I was always using a wired mouse and keyboard. But then I figured, why don't I just get a new keyboard and mouse with my new computer? And why not make it wireless? So I've used this thing already and I have to say, it works great. You know, the, wi the wireless is just amazing. The keys feel good and it just makes it makes so much more space in your room I mean there's less cords to use all you gotta do is plug in the USB you know sync thing and then it just syncs up your your mouse and your keyboard and it just work together and they work smoothly so let's put this back in the box and as I also got the rose line case right there with USB 3.0 support and these are all the parts I have so far along with this chair I've been talking about I built this chair to yesterday and this took me two to three hours to make like I said before but this chair is so comfortable like oh my goodness but it costs around a hundred dollars so all these parts together cost so far five hundred dollars I'm gonna be having more parts coming in soon so anyways new my career video tonight I'm out peace